Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin SL TV. To record the total time spent in running a micro, go to Developer tab and click on Visual Basic. Double click on the procedure or the module that we wish to record the total time spent. At the beginning part of the procedure, introduce a dummy to indicate the start of the process. It can be any word or any letter, as long as not the reserve letter or word used in VBA. Let's say we use the word start and we should set equal to the timer. And now move to the end of the procedure. Introduce another dummy. Also can be any word or any letter, but not use the word M since this is reserve code as we can see here. So we should use for example finish and set equal to the timer. The start and the end times are now recorded. If we wish to display the duration, may consider to use the the message box bracket always start with a quotation mark since this must be a string followed by the statement that we wish to display for example the total time spent is and now we should link with the duration that is the total time spent since we need to perform calculation and this is not simply a string so we should first end this existing statement by using a quotation mark space and use an emphasis to connect with the calculation that is by using the finish time minus the start time. If you wish to display this duration in a specific format in front of the calculation, let's make use of the format function bracket and now move to the end, make a comma followed by the format that we want. Always input as string, so we need quotation mark. Since the timer is measured in terms of second, if you worry that a zero is not shown, we can first type a zero before decimal. And if we wish to have a specific decimal places, always end with a zero. For example, if we need two decimal places, use hashtag for any number followed by a zero to indicate the maximum and the only decimal places that we want. Quotation mark and close bracket to end the format function, space and emphasis again to finish the statement. Also with quotation mark, since it is in terms of seconds, so we can use seconds. Full stop followed by quotation mark and close bracket to end the message box. And now the coding part is done. Let's run and see the result. Once Excel has finished running the macro, we should receive a message box with the total time spent, as we can see here. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.